Hey guys, today I want to do something different. I want to talk to you about a recent question that we recently got from someone and he asked why do we use cheaper vinyl cutters when we own a graph deck which costs around $2,000 or why did we get a 24 inch which is the same size that we already have? What's the point? Well, before I answer why, let me tell you a little bit more about the graph deck and all the adventures that we had together for many years. So when we bought our very first vinyl cutter, I'll be honest with you guys, we have no clue of what we got. We did not know what a graph deck was. We did not know how to operate it. We just didn't know anything about this business. So that's why we started with a small shop in a flea market, start making custom t-shirts, small decals, no bigger than eight inches. This is the first machine that we got, which is the Graphtech CE 6040. It is a 15 inch vinyl cutter, but it did the job. It was fast, it was reliable, and that's why we got it. But then, as some of you know, the very first big project we had was from a guy that walked in into a very small shop and gave us the opportunity to work on his trucks. He was a lawn care company and gave us a chance to work with bigger decals. That's where everything started for us. But then we had a big project and this machine just couldn't do the job. So we had to upgrade and that's when, when we got the Graphtech CE6060, which is a 24 inch vinyl cutter. And to be honest with you, we got our investment back in just a matter of months because in those days we were, you know, started to hustle and grind and start making money and we had so many projects like from you know signs t-shirts car decals we had a lot of uh, you know projects and this machine came perfectly you know because those projects were really big projects so we had to uh, use a bigger vinyl cutter even today after seven years me and the guys can tell you that we are very happy that we made that choice, whether it was luck or whatever. But we are very happy that we bought the Graphtech because it is very reliable and fast. We can actually do other stuff or even take a nap. I'm just kidding, not really take a nap, but we can let it work and not worry that the vinyl is gonna move or shift and ruin the entire project. And I'm saying that because we have try other vinyl cutters as you have seen in our channel if you are just watching us right now i invite you guys to check it out because we have tested the titan we have tested the graph deck we have tested the cameo 4 the cameo pro we can tell you that the graph deck so far is the best investment we make so far but here comes the question why did we bother to get a smaller vinyl cutter a 200 dollar machine like the cameo 4 or an almost $400 uh, vinyl cutter machine like the Cameo Pro, because you know, the Pro is a 24 inch, just like the Graphtech. So why did we get it? Well, before I answer to you, if you're liking this video, guys, make sure you hit the like and subscribe, and of course, turn on your notification bell. Well, the reason is pretty simple because we wanted to experiment with other machines because as content creators, we have heard so many things about the Cameo and other machines. So we decided to give them a try and see if you can actually start a decal business from home. And guys, what we found out is very amazing. With this machine, which is the 12 inch vinyl cutter, you can start a t-shirt business. As we have mentioned, you can make smaller decals, even medium sized decals, as long as you use the registrations or alignments as you have watched us use it in other decal projects with this very small machine which is the cameo 4 and it only costs 200 dollars as of today on 2024 so it is a very good option however let me be clear you get what you pay for of course you're gonna get what you pay for so if you are expecting a very fast or you know very reliable machine then you should really consider you know, waiting or maybe saving more money and try to get at least the Graphtech CE6040. Today it is CE7040, the newest version. It is the same machine, just an up, uh, updated machine. So if you really want to make t-shirts and small decals, 
then you should definitely invest on a smaller vinyl cutter depending on your budget but for us this machine for the price it is a very good machine and we say this as professionals because we've been in this business for so long however this machine is known for you know just crafting or smaller projects but we have seriously used it for real real projects we have stream a project that you are watching here on a restaurant we make these decals with this machine and you can start making smaller decals then move on to bigger decals if you want to get the graphic the 24 inch or if you want to get the cameo pro it depends on you on what how much you want to invest however just keep in mind you get what you pay for if you pay a very small amount of money then don't expect great things however uh, the reason why we promote these machines is because we know that a lot of people do not have the income to start big right away especially with today's economy you want to just play it safe if you're not sure about this business then this machine is definitely a good option whether it is the the cameo 4 or the cameo pro a 24 inch it barely costs 400 dollars you can get started now the cameo pro is the most recent vinyl cutter that we bought for 370 dollars and the reason we bought it even though it is a 24 inch just like the graphic ce 6060 the reason why we did it is because we wanted to test if you can actually make big decals with this machine however i really recommend that you guys uh, if you want to make bigger decals you should definitely invest on a machine like the titan or like the graphic because the cameo pro is really good machine however uh, we have noticed that when you make bigger decals bigger than 50 or even 16 inch you have to be very careful because sometimes the vinyl shift and it might ruin the entire project it has ruined two bigger decals for us and we were kind of expecting it because we did our homework we did check the reviews and actually those are some of the more common complaints that we see from the cameo pro that sometimes when you make bigger cuts the vinyl shifts or molds and it ruins the entire project uh, we use some tools that can help you align the vinyl better with your cameo whether it is the small the cameo 4 or the cameo pro but sometimes even when you use these tools and if you're making super huge uh, decals then you should definitely keep an eye on your machine it is not like the grafted that you can go and do stuff and, and let it work. You have to keep an eye because sometimes you just got to make sure that you lock your vinyl properly and that you follow the instructions. However, sometimes even when you follow all those instructions, it is like the, the cameo doesn't feel like working. So it is like that employee that just doesn't feel okay for today to work. Like I say, you get what you pay for. I'm just being completely honest with you. But before we close this video, overall, I, I am saying this with the most sincere of my, you know, my words this machine is is really good if you want to start a t-shirt business if you don't want to invest much if you just want to test it want to see how it works then this machine is definitely a good investment for you if you want to make like you know like car magnets yard signs even vinyl banners then the cameo pro can be a good option for you however just what i said be very careful when you're making bigger decals and then if the business takes off then you can perhaps invest on a better machine like the graphic the ce 7060 or even the titan or you can get a, a roland or whatever just do your homework and always check for reviews always ch always check for feedbacks make sure you watch video tutorials and see what's the most common complaints that people get from the machine that you want to get it doesn't matter what machine is always always check for reviews feedbacks and all of that make sure you do that before you invest your money however as someone mentioned in the comments too the hardest part 
It's not learning how to operate these machines. It doesn't matter what machine is. The hardest part is to stay in business, to make sales. And that is definitely correct. Any business is gonna be like that. So you gotta be consistent, always post videos, pictures, and just uh, join as many groups, uh, sales groups, classifieds on Facebook as you can. Perhaps you can even try like construction groups. There are actually groups that focus on drywall painters. And then if you make a post on selling t-shirts for them, then you can probably get a good lead there. Well guys, this is it for this video. Thank you so much. If you did like this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. I will see you guys on the next episode.